You're tuning in to a Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Kim Love Muse Psychic Medium Show. Kim Camilla, aka Kim Love Muse, has been called one of this country's most highly esteemed and respected mediums, but quickly earned her reputation as Hollywood's secret psychic. Although Kim would never read and tell, her clients do giving her credit for her accurate and detailed guidance. Kim has been featured in several magazines such as People, Women's Own, Clio Magazine, and the film My Date with Drew, and has appeared as a reoccurring guest on Hot 92.3 and Latino 96.3. Kim has now begun to speak in front of small groups to assist in the illumination of the world changes we are in the midst of enduring. Call it now to reserve your spot on the switchboard. The call in number is 713-955-0594. Be sure to press 1 to get into the host queue so that you may speak with Kim Love Muse. Enjoy this healing and soul expanding show. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited to be here. This is uh, my first actual show. I mean, I've done a lot of radio, but this is my actual new platform. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we actually have 15 callers waiting, which is amazing. So thank you. Um, I will take them in a minute. I just want to introduce myself. I uh, am a psychic medium. And as we go on in different shows, I'll explain sort of my journey in opening up to all of the new energies in the world. So I would like to use this platform to not only educate, but also I want to hear what you would like to know about as far as um, not really political, but what's going on in the world or what I can be of service to you for in order to work energetically and um, to support you in moving forward in your life. Um, so we have a first caller who is uh, 443, and I guess I'll go right into calls because there's 15 callers waiting, so it's kind of exciting. Um, and then uh, this is every week, so there's so many topics that I want to cover just in, in how the world is going. Um, so I'm ready, uh, and thank you, Tiffany, for taking care of everything behind the scenes. I appreciate it. Tiffany's the producer of the show. So, Kathy, 443, are you there? I am. Congratulations on your first show. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, I was what... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I was calling to ask you about um, work. It seems to be kind of stagnant here. Okay. So, um, give me your... Month and day only of your birthday, please. December 13th. Okay. And just say your full name on your birth certificate for me so I can hear it. Don't spell it. Just say it so I can hear the blueprint. Kathy Karen Jellowick. Give me a minute. Okay, so have you been in your job a long time doing the same yes. thing? Yes. Are we, are, is it over eight years? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is, before we go into, of course, it, it, it's stagnant because you're starting to feel the energy of wanting to move on. So by the end of the year, you're going to figure out what you want to do. Um, is there any teaching in your background or anything that you want to go into as far as teaching goes? I feel like you're an educator. Um, no, but maybe it, maybe I'll uh, do something like Reiki or do learn the tarot cards. 
Mm-hmm. We need more healers out there. Um, so I feel like maybe you should start studying this now, but apparently it's, it's sort of like what's blocking you is your more anxiety or I want to say confidence in moving forward. And then also the stress of your job. So it's sort of like every day you go in and you, uh, you know, you have this great face and you really want to do a good job and yet you don't feel like you're doing enough. So you almost feel like you're in a little bit of a self betrayal. You sort of like, Oh, this isn't really what I want to do anymore. I don't feel like I'm really making a difference doing office work and, and just kind of being around this environment. So my feeling is your environment needs to change. Um, don't put pressure on yourself, but more take the time to find your strength in what you'd like to do. So look into tarot, look into Reiki, see how you feel and move from there. Um, it's going to take your strength to move forward. It's, it's going to take um, you not doubting that you can be happy in going where you want to go. And it's also going to take some research and speaking to people. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's you the unknown part, you know, because you've been doing, you've been coming to work for so long and now you're going to be doing something different. Right. Except, hear me on this, we're all not recognizing ourselves. We're all so new. We've all been recalibrated in such a new way due to the world shifting in such a dynamic, intense way. So you're feeling that energy, and that's why you're being moved by spirit. They're sort of nudging you to move forward. Um, but you've got to do the work and the research. It, it's, it's sort of not going it, to – it's sort of the magic is there, but you it won't magically happen, if that makes sense. Well, so you've got to well, – hmm? I'm, I'm already a Reiki master, so it's just what do I want to do with healing and – anything else well why don't you start doing reiki why don't you start doing some sessions with people practicing see how you feel from there and then Mm -hmm. and then expand your gifts Mm -hmm. it's more the confidence with you yes it is it is so it's not working on what you need to do or where you're going because you're going it's your confidence you have to get Mm -hmm. out of your own way you already have it down. You're already you're already you're already certified. Start inviting mm-hmm. people. Make up some cards. You have to kind of get out there. And it's sort of like a lot of us have been in hiding <laughs> for a long time because we've been yeah. trying to um, regain our own balance in uh, learning about ourselves and uncovering our gifts kind of behind the scenes. And now a lot of people are stepping out. Mhm. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you for calling. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Next person, next caller is eight five seven. Hi. Hello. How are welcome. you? Welcome. I'm well. Thank How are you? you? Congratulations on your first show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, so what, this is, what's happening? This is, well, I want to ask a question in regards to a male friend. Um, mm-hmm. I've pulled back a lot to the point where I'm. my feelings have changed, mm-hmm. and it's a good thing. I'm not so emotionally invested. And mm-hmm. it's interesting because now when I look at him, I don't, I can't say that I don't feel anything, but there's no, um, it's just blank. It's okay. blank. Um, so um, give me your month and day first, please. Just month and the day, month not the year. Okay, it's April 2nd. Okay, and 
Just say your full name on your birth certificate for me. It's Gwendolyn Annette. No middle name? Yes, the middle name is Annette. It's Gwendolyn Annette Crowder. That's what I needed. Okay. And uh, is there any way that you can say this person's name, or do you want to keep it private? If you can't, just give me his month and day. His month and day is February 9th. Got it. And how was your relationship with your father growing up? No relationship with my dad. Right. So it's hard for you to ask for what you want. Mm. And it's not that you don't feel anything. It's that you've lost faith in, in how do I say this, in um, asking for what you want from this person because he won't give it to you. Right. And so that's your protection. So mm. I would say... Heal the relationship with your with your dad, with yourself in doing the work. He doesn't have to be around, but you need to heal it. And okay. your relationships with men will be better because you yeah. you keep hanging on this guy. It's back and forth, and it's not he's not going to give you what you want. I'm sorry. Exactly. I know he's not. So move move forward and yeah. um, know that know that you deserve better, and don't go yeah. numb. Go into more of your own energy, more of your own feminine energy, and leave yeah. that behind. He's just not capable. Yeah. You have to kind of just detach yeah. from it in a way that you're not numb from it. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. Good. So how do I? So how do I? I mean, I get it because before it was back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, look, he's not going to give you. It's not going to happen. It's just, it's not going to happen. Nope. With him. Right. And so I, I pulled back a lot, like I said, and I noticed that he's fishing. Mm hmm You know, he's coming. However, but fishing for the mm -hmm. wrong reasons. Just because you pulled back, it's that kind of cat and mouse chase. It's mm. it, you're still not. You need to still take a stand in what you want. It's still not yes. going to be. It's just going to be a game of him being able Absolutely. to capture you for your energy. Yes. So, yes. Um, right. So, well, everything is energetic, and I, I definitely am going to do a show on energy and energy management because I yes. write notes on it, and I just I'm always in it. So he drained really it's a he drained me energetically. Course. Yes, he however, drained me. Right. But when people drain you, it's part of you spinning out and sort of draining yourself. Because no one can actually take your energy. It's more right. of you resisting that they're taking your energy. So you've yes, created yes. a block, a resistance, a guard, a wall, whatever you want mm -hmm. to call it. But you mm -hmm. haven't dealt with it. So you have all these emotions right. going on, which is, mm -hmm. you know, I still feel this way and you're not giving me what I want and I'm disappointed and my father disappointed me and men disappointed me and this isn't working and so I'm going to just shut it down and keep it moving, but I really can't because I haven't released it. Right, right. You need to, you need to release and heal all of this if you want a new energy to come in. And then right. start to... Vi and then you can start to visualize, also become who you want to energetically. I know you don't want to walk around being shut down or numb or or yeah. um, or giving up, you know? Right, um, right, and saying, right. Like, there's no, there's no good men out there. It's all mm -hmm. terrible. And that's not really true. There's great no, men No, because I don't there. feel that way. I really don't feel okay. that way. I really okay, don't good. feel that way. I just feel that, you know, you know, I need to step back from this and just kind of really start taking care of me and respecting and honoring my energy. And uh, because I'm responsible for the energy that I give out. I'm also responsible for the energy that I pull in. Mm -hmm. So I'm responsible for this. Mm -hmm. Which is great you that know? you know that. Yeah, and I, wanna, I, want, I really want to heal this because I've always held on to things. Heal your dad. Yeah. 
heal the rift with your father. Mm-hmm. Heal the mm-hmm. emptiness with that. Heal. How do I um, do that? How do I do that? Go deep. You go in. In a meditation, you ask spirit what you need to heal. You mm-hmm. ponder it for days. You know, I ask questions sometimes, and I don't get the answers for four or five days. I just let it mm-hmm. sit and ride with me with whatever I'm doing. I sort of just mm-hmm. leave it there in the background, and then answers come in. It's a conscious okay. thing. And mm-hmm. it needs to be healed for you. Do you have a yeah, son, by the way? No, I do not. Does, son? Does he have a son? Does my friend have a son? Yeah. I don't know, but people, whenever I spoke, speak about him, people always see like a child or children around him. Mm-hmm. I think he has a son. Um, but this will not be the life that you want. You need to move forward. Yes, you need to pull your mm. energy back. This is a given mm-hmm. now, especially in 2017. We need to manage mm. our energy and yes. work with people that um, there's a good give and take with, okay? So, yes, thank so, you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. you're so right about that. And that's what I knew. I'm like, this is, is not balanced for me. It's not balanced. Correct. Right, and you know this. Yes. Mm-hmm. So now go yeah. to it. Yeah. I will. Okay. I will. All right. Thank you so much. I'm I'm going to start You're working welcome. on this. All That's right, fine. honey. Blessings to you. Okay. Blessings. Thank you. All right. You too. Thank All right. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Um exciting day here. So we have 732 on the line. Are you there? Hello. Hi. Good Hello. afternoon. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you for joining Thanks. Block Talk Radio. <laughs> Thank you very much. What can I help you with? Well, I am organizing spiritual live events, and I have two. That One of them I'm waiting for a response uh, in New Jersey, and the other one is in New York, but um, something happen in the communication now i'm not sure if i should proceed with it as well so i'd like to know what's the outcome for the one i'm waiting for the response and for this gentleman who was a little rude with me via email and i don't know if i should proceed to ask maybe a higher up okay. you know you know why did i get this response as well and if i should because this okay, is like so a, I, go ahead so hang on um, just give me your month and day of your birthday, please. October 9th. And you need my name? And your my mm-hmm. Well, I'll give me. you my long one because that's what's the birth certificate. What, very early. what you came in with, yes. Yeah. Caroline De Castro Rodriguez Oliveira. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> and when you introduce yourself, what do you go by? Oh, just Caroline Oliveira. That's it. Caroline. Okay. Now, these are live spiritual events. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Can you say the name of the first one that you're asking about? Yes, Princeton University Seminary. Okay, so you have the, um, I want to say the program. You put the program together, correct? Yes, but I need an approval um, on this one. I need an, well, all of them anyway. Okay, so it's gone to his desk, the person who approves this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a busy schedule for them. Yes, it's the end of the... I do feel like it will happen. The the issue is the timing on it. You'll need to be patient to um, allow it to be whatever date it needs to be is what I feel. Yeah, so I'm ready. it's more of I'm ready. he's he's resisting more of your and I know you're a Libra, so you're you're balanced, but more of your impatience because you feel like there's pressure on you from other people. So um, you need to really allow whatever date to come in. It, it's not yeah. like you can choose the choose the date. You can give him a few dates, but that's what he's kind of fighting you on. 
Oh, I said the month of October, but I should have said I, you know, I should have said I'm open to anything. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. Exactly. Oh, and gosh. that is the one that's in New Jersey. And then the one in New York? It's the Met, the Metropolitan uh, of Art. Okay, and the issue with this one is the same thing, or what's your question? Oh, the, the issue with this one is I requested with, to have, like, a private event. It's very normal. Mm -hmm. And I, I happen to say, you know, because this is what I do right now, I happen to say this is uh, an inspirational speaking and spiritual event, you know, highly mm -hmm. powerful event, you know, mm -hmm. short and sweet. And she, he responded, Oh, we don't, um, we don't uh, do, well, it is our policy of the museum not to do any spiritual or religious ceremonies. Who's talking mm -hmm. about ceremonies? Talking about, you know, it's, it's spiritual means many things, you know, means kindness. Spiritual means everything to us, means love. So I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's more of, however, sorry to interrupt you, I just want to, the Met is, you know, it, it's, um, it's, Illuminati. it's highly, in, well, no, it's intellectual. It's, um, there's got to be a, a platform that sort of fits in with the Met. So if you would like to do something, you need to write out yes. something that you want to do that is very explanatory, if that's a word, but explain exactly what the program will be. Can, can you, you need to, you know what I'm sensing with you a little bit, if I can say so? Yes. I feel a little bit of, it's not the confidence word, a little bit of um, hiding, a little bit of not really putting it all out there just to sort of not be criticized, but to tweak it and to, to kind of throw it out there and rework it because there are different ways to rework things. And there are different ways to, uh, when I do events, I have to rework it to fit in with the house that I'm in. The, the, you know, when I speak at a certain, um, when I'm doing yeah. events, I, I, I make sure that I go in and, and sort of just out of respect match See, no one's trying to bring in people that have agendas. So they're just being very careful in life right now, given where we are in the world. So you need to be very clear with yourself, and you need to be very clear about your template and what you're doing. And I don't feel like you have written enough of that out. I feel like you're anxious to get out there, which I love, and I feel like you can find other venues where you can kind of do your own thing and free flow. But if you're going yeah. into places like the Met and Princeton, high level, you need mm -hmm. to put a proper program presentation media kit together. And that is what you're missing. Well, I do have, like, the, the media kit. You know, you, I was very conscious of what the seminary had to, because this is not a Christian seminary. Um, well, semi. So I was very careful with my wording. It took me five weeks to write it. That's so why the Met? Why the Met? The Met, it's, I wanted to do something in New York. I'm familiar with it since I'm a little girl. And they hold weddings. They hold all kinds, talking about religious, uh, all kinds of religious events, private and non-private, because, by the way, 98% of the artifacts and the art, it's a, it comes from a religion. It comes from culture. So we're talking about people, and they actually say on their website that they're very sensitive towards the religion side of things. But yeah, and that's what it means. They're sensitive, you know. So what is the topic more, of your your program for the Met? Would be inspirational speaking, and I'm going to have music to come with it. So it's going to be a, a gathering, a very loving gathering, you know, of just an evening of spirit, an evening of inspirational speaking, celebrating life. That's the title of it, celebrating life. And you make a difference being the title. Okay. So I, well, maybe the Met I may think, not be the right place right now. Maybe look for other venues. 
in the meanwhile. Oh, well, and try call. to meet with someone from the Met. Exactly. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I don't mind me. Of course, you're going to have to go in and be face to face. So they know who they're not just going to take anybody. Yes. No problem. Yeah, so, that's what I want. I'm very familiar with it. So I was very shocked uh, at this. You don't, know, at don't the, be shocked. Just keep moving. <laughs> it's, it's not a bad thing. Don't let it don't let it throw you. Keep going. Uh, yes. It was only 24 hours a day, uh, 24 hours ago, so I'm not attached to the energy. I just, I was just curious. Mm-hmm. If it yeah. Be, you know, a little confirmation. That's all I needed. A little, a little oh. confirmation most of the time. You okay. know? So I thank of you course. so much. I know there's other people waiting, so thank you so much and look forward to You're welcome. speaking with you in the future. Okay? Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for calling in. All righty. Have a lovely day. You too. Thank you. So we have next uh, caller is 203. Are you on the Hi, line? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what can I do for you? Um, my question, I have a lot. I know I'm going to have to do a private reading with you, but um, as mm-hmm. of right now, the biggest thing um, would be the choices of taking my children back, and I got to go to court tomorrow for child support due to a domestic violence issue, and the children ended mm-hmm. up with my mom, and it, I just really feel as though I'm I'm going through the whole domestic violence thing all over again. It's like I'm getting no breaks at all. Okay. Um, tell me your name. Uh, Tanisa Toya Hudson. And your month and day only, not the year. Uh, May 29th. How many kids? Are there three? Four. Okay, there's four kids. Um, same father or you get different? I get one from a different father. Yes, you're absolutely correct. The three girls. That's mm-hmm. what you picked up first. Mm-hmm. Two of them is with me, my mm-hmm. son, which is a different father, and my youngest mm-hmm. daughter is with my mom. Okay. Um, so where do I want to go with this? Hold on. Let me just ask. Uh, okay. So um, hang on. What is the name of, or just give me the month and the day of the the person who's going to be in court with you, the father. Will he show up there or he just doesn't show up? It has nothing to do with him. This is my mom. This is my mom. Domestic violence is your mother? No, no, no. The, everything, the case started with him, with the domestic violence, and I lost all four of the children. Um, maybe six years later, I took back two and I left my mother with the other two so because Mm -hmm. she's getting assistance for the two that she has they then turned around and put me on child support got it okay ready for all four (laughs) you know I'm not ready for all. you're not ready for all four correct you need to go to school you need to you really haven't had a foundation you really started young with kids and sort of just kind of it was just chaotic growing up so you never really built a foundation so you are going to need to settle down when's your birthday again may 29th you said yeah yep you're going to need to settle down and and ground yourself and decide what you want to do work-wise what you want for yourself and what kind of life you want to start building. So you can't keep going like this and fighting everything, And but it's, it's a result of just a bad, you know, lots of patterns growing up. It's much more about um, taking it one step at a time. Just be very practical about this. And listen, don't fight things that you can't fight. Accept the things that you can't fight right now because – Really, spirit, God, whoever it is for you, really wants to um, support you in you settling down and, and, and having a life. 
having a family, having a life. And there's just been a lot of chaos and a lot of, yeah. um, but you also have a temper. And so that got you in trouble too. So you, you need, you, it, again, I'm going to do a whole show on management of energy just because we all need it. So write a list down. Do me a favor, write a list down on what you want. And what do you want to do as far as school goes? If you had a magic wand, what would you like to go to school for? What would you I'm like to train school. for? I'm in what are you going right for? Um, massage therapy, healing therapy. Okay, excellent. Um, How long do you have to go? I have seven months to go. Great. Okay. So tomorrow, when you go in, what is what is it that you want to have happen? I just need time. I, I don't mind paying the child support. I Tomorrow I was planning on going in and saying, listen, I need the child support payments to stop because I do give my mom money, but it's not being counted. And it's like I'm paying two times now. So the money I'm giving my mom is not being counted, and the money that the state is asking for me is built, is piling up. Okay, so explain that tomorrow. Do you have a lawyer? No. Okay, so you're going in on your own? Yeah. And your mom is showing up? Nope. Okay, so it's just you in front of the judge, correct? It's just, it's just me and my two children that I have custody of. Okay. Are you behind in payments? Yes. Mm -hmm. $10,000 behind in payments. Mm -hmm. um, I would write down tonight what you would like to have done and how it would support you and have that ready to explain to the judge so he can be fair about it. Okay. Okay, and then start cleaning yeah. all this up. That's what I'm. I I want to so bad. <laughs> this is you like are. Last, you are. You just got buried, <laughs> but you you got to make better choices in your life, and you are. Yeah. This is okay. really frustrating. <laughs> it's yeah. But but moving forward to the next level in your life is always frustrating and digging yourself out of all the old patterns of the mm -hmm. old life to come into the mm -hmm. new life with you being a healer and taking care of your children, wanting a better life for yourself. It just takes work and persistence and you're doing it. So don't give up. Just be clear about where you want to go, what your next step is, and be very clear in your communication to the judge and honest as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck tomorrow. Thank It'll you. It'll work out. Okay. I believe All right. it. <laughs> Take care. Um, okay, so the next caller is uh, 480. Are you online? I'm here. My name is Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. Good. And what's on your mind today? Well, I'm not, I've, I've got several things going on. Uh, one more traditional business uh, with that I'll have a sales element in, and uh, it'll be a, a partnership for a business. And then two is, uh, you know, kind of branching out uh, business-wise in regards to uh, the spiritual uh, path that I'm on as well and just kind of want to get some insight and guidance on uh, I feel it's close everything's close to popping and of course I'm uh, well impatient okay um, so give me your month and day of your birthday please well like the previous caller five uh, May 29th as well okay and just say your full name on your birth certificate for me Yes, Michael Stephen Jocks. One more time, Michael. Michael Stephen Jocks. Okay. Now, when you say spiritual and business, you keeping those separate as far as your spiritual life goes? Well, you uh, no. I mean, uh, I've always been good at 
I've always been fantastic at sales in a sense. And a lot of it, uh, when the spiritual intuition stuff started to come in, it made me even more successful at it. So one is a separate entity, um, which is just, which is a business, uh, that I'll have a sales, uh, uh, position in uh, and ownership uh, of the company. And then the second one is, uh, you know, putting myself out there in regards to, you know, doing readings and, and, and so forth. Um, I've done some stuff uh, with uh, publicist friends here in California um, that have, you know, brought me in on, on, on projects and things like that. So I've done some mm-hmm. stuff in, you know, that Hollywood per se kind of, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, type of stuff, so, which is all, which is fun. You know, type of thing. Right, right. So, are you? Saying, but it also lends um, to branding. <laughs> of course, it always lends to branding. So, the sales—is it product? Is it an abstract product or a product product? It's kind of uh, abstract. So, it's more about well, again, uh, an opportunity. It's sales in the sense of uh, providing high-end uh, businesses with a brand with a uh, a very niche specific uh branding opportunity high end okay okay so clientele special clientele which is great which takes time and as far as readings are we talking psychic readings uh that mediumship yes okay so well what's stopping you there's nothing stopping you i don't see anything no. stopping you <laughs> yeah. So what's the your question? You're all you're well, all good. The, 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 right, I, I I know the business uh, is uh, slow to go. Uh, again, getting the other two partners, uh, you know, on the same wavelength as me because I was ready to go uh, months ago. And again, but they're also successful in other areas, in other industries as well. So plus families and things like that. So. Uh, so, you know, that part isn't nearly going as quickly as I'd like it to. Okay, so sometimes with development, especially with product or um, just things that we would like to move faster than they are, it's more about you getting deeper with uh, tweaking more of it, developing more of it, writing ideas down. If you get busy with more of engaging with that because people are really busy especially now on the planet people are just crazy busy so that has to be respected obviously and you need to do like some working out or some something to do with your energy just to channel and sort of allow the timing of this to kind of be more of a flow don't get in your head so much Get into that the it's and I hate to be cliche about yeah the perfect time it's the perfect time but it really yeah. if you um, start to work on other things or you almost not take your attention away from it but you get busy with other things yeah. you won't be waiting you won't be looking at the clock okay gotcha and and as that soon as yeah energy. I was no yeah. I was in the process of getting back into uh, the physical thing and then. Uh, uh, you know, again, uh, a lower back thing, which I've had since 19, uh, you know, crept back up. So now I'm, I'm like, okay, gosh, I was ready to get, go back well, the into back that gang. Responsibility. The back is yeah, all uh, about responsibility. And is it your lower back? Yes. Yeah. So it's responsibility, carrying weight. It's, you know, I have to be responsible for everything, the weight of the world, but it's more you carry it in your lower back. It's also the lower chakra. Um, because the chakra is in the front and the back. Um, so it's survival, it's worry, it's issues with sleeping. And also, if you don't have, um, what do you call the, like, memory foam mattresses, they are the new way to go. There's no question in my mind. Those are the mattresses of the future. There are not going to be any more mattresses as far as the box springs go or whatever those are with springs. You need to get a memory foam because your back will heal from that. It, it will support you. You need support. And, and just do an exercise. Lie on the floor and allow the floor to support you. And just feel that. Because you're not feeling supported in your life. You're feeling antsy and nervous. 
let the floor support you. Just kind of lay there and look at the ceiling and just say, I am supported. And let your back heal. Release all that tension in your back. And, of course, get the mattress, too, on a practical level. No, it's great. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, uh, yeah, it's just that, it's that, uh, this flare up is that nerve that runs, I forget what it's called, but it runs through, you know, the lower back down, you know, the leg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, something, I forget what it's called, uh, what, whatever, but yeah, so it's just a matter of, uh, standing and walking fine. Uh, it's when you sit, uh, then it, uh, kind of tightens up and, uh, causes havoc. Mm hmm but get the mattress and try the floor exercise and maybe do some work on you at the lower chakra. Gotcha. Gotcha. Excellent. Thank you. Survival of the root. You're welcome. Have a good day. You Thank as well. You okay. Let's see. Where our next caller is? 312. Are you on the line? All right. So while we're waiting for someone to come on, um, this has been a very, very busy day. See how much people have going on? It's amazing. Okay, so I have another caller now. I can see. Thanks, Tiffany. Um, we're moving on to 310. 310. Are you on? Yeah, hi. Hi. Are you there? <laughs> this is Janet. I'm here. Hi, Janet. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you saw a relationship coming my way that kind of thing okay um give me your month and day please uh june 9th wow lots of gemini's calling in today it must be a gemini day <laughs> a gemini sun you know um <laughs> yeah oh um, okay and yeah exactly and just say your full name please on your birth certificate so i can hear it Janet Lynn Trinati. And what's her name that you go by in life? Janet. First and last, sorry. Oh, Harboka. Say it again. Janet Harboka. Okay, there seems to be a question mark on that name. Do you not like <laughs> using that name? <laughs> I <laughs> what what are you doing? <laughs> I won't I won't have it much longer. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so you're getting yeah. out of something. Yeah, I've been out of uh -huh. it for a long time, but yeah. Is it over 18 years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, okay, here's the thing. You know, there's a lot of you getting to know yourself again. Mm -hmm. um, you are a relationship person. You haven't been very happy in this relationship. You've kind of acquiesced acquiesced and and been more I want to say passive in making sure that it would get better and it wouldn't so you need to go it, it, yes there'll be a relationship to answer your question however you could go and find another relationship tomorrow it's the quality of the relationship that we want to look at and the quality of your energy and the quality of what you want in your life which is happiness and joy that you have not had for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need to seek out happiness and joy and see what that means for you. Get to know yourself a little bit and be out there and that person will come along, but it's, it's not tomorrow. You, you're still kind of rolling out of this a little bit, but you're done with it yeah. for sure. It's just more of the residue and the clearing up and the throwing out of stuff and, you know, clear out, declutter, um, start new. It's we're all in new lives. We're all moving into new lives. We really don't even recognize ourselves from all the work we've done. So, right. um, so yeah. And I I don't feel like you're worried about a relationship. It's just more you're curious on it coming in. <laughs> so exactly. it's more on the, and, and that's what I'm looking for. Is a a quality relationship, not... Yeah, because you have suitors. Yeah, You'll find I, a quality, not, but find it in yourself first. You've just had yeah, a long time of not being so happy, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. So exactly. I hope that helps you. You did. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. 
Okay, so we are um, we're gonna have one more caller. I'm sorry, you guys. There's other shows. I will get to you. I promise. But it's intense when you do readings like this, as far as like wanting to work with everyone. So I do the show every week. You can call in. Um, but I'm gonna take one more caller, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about how you can reach me and kind of what I'm working on or what I've noticed that I'm working on energetically with people right now on the planet and where we're at, if that's okay with you guys. I hope it is. And I hope everybody's having a great day. So the next caller is um, 678. You're on the air. Hi. Hi. This is Kathy. How are you? Hi, Kathy. Good. How are you? Good. Good. What can I do for you? Um, I'm calling. Um, I have a. Um, I have to um, speak with my attorney tomorrow um, concerning, um, I guess, the status of my claim. I had a contractor mess up my house, and we had to go through their insurance company. Do you see? Anything surrounding it, because it appears that um, we might have to go to litigation, and I don't even know if they'll take it. So, because what they're offering is not even um, half of what we've asked for. So, I'm just stressing out big time. Okay. So, uh, I need your month and day of your birthday, please. Oh, 820. And your name on, okay, thank you. And your name on your birth certificate, please. Kathy Regine Rogers. Okay, so this is, did you redo a kitchen? Were you re- renovating? It's the whole house. Um, I had I had um, my water pipes bust and basically from a domino effect they literally had to do the whole house floors cabinets walls ceilings everything wow um how long ago did you buy the house is it over five years ago yes okay and is your husband with you i don't have a husband so there's no guy around correct no okay hang on And when this was going on, let me ask you something. When when you brought contractors in, where or uh, what state are you in? Georgia. We're six. Okay. So when you brought contractors in, um, was this? Did you bring in one guy for the whole job, or did you bring in different people, or did he hire everyone? It was two um, guys that were um, that owned the company, and then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They had two workers come in maybe two times, but so the mm-hmm. majority was just the two guys. Mm-hmm. Um, I do feel like, did you not stay on top of them? Was it more like, can you just fix this, please? Well, no. They um, they were doing the work. It, it's they They damaged my furniture and staying on top of it. I did, I thought I did, but what, in hindsight, they were manipulating me. For example, the ceilings were not correct, and I was having issues with it. But they were like, oh, no, we know we're coming back to it. We know we have to come back to it. We know about the problem. But then right. they never came back to right. it. Right. So this is um, more of people coming in and taking advantage. But pretty um, much. And, and it's- Right. But as well, um, don't be the victim in this. I understand that they came in and did this, and I do see it. However, you have to shift your energy in this and um, go to litigation, you know, stand up for yourself, get your spiritual backbone straight and ask for what you want. This is about on a bigger scale you taking care of yourself and you being safe and 
whatever the lesson is in this, this is what this is about. And also, I know you don't like being alone. And you've got to learn some ways to use your intuition when interacting with people. Because if you were on intuitively with this, you would have seen them walking in a mile away and not let it go on for so long. Does that make sense? Uh, yes and yes and no. I I don't I'm not I don't think that I'm I'm not playing the victim card. I do take responsibility that I should have mandated things be fixed as I saw it or you wouldn't get paid. But it's like a catch twenty two. Um, if you don't pay them, they don't work. And then it's so it's like you're literally always in the rock and the hard place and that's what I I How long did felt. you let it how long did it go on for though? Um how many months? What do you mean? How long they, did it let's see, April, May, June. Um it took them about no, it took them about three months to finish. So they did the work. Yes, they they and did the work. The work is not correct. In addition to the work not being correct, um, that for example, my floors they laid down new floors. Um, they scratched the floors. They damaged the floors with drywall, etc. So that's part of my claim with their insurance company paying out um, the cabinets. Brand new cabinets. They're scratched. They're dented. Exactly, mm -hmm. and they're brand new. It's that type. They of were, stuff. yeah. So they were careless. They were careless. So when you you have every right to go in, so that you can have the work redone by someone else. I wouldn't have them redo it. No, I'm not. But I'm not having them redo it. But the question is because I had to get an attorney. My attorney is working with they're the contractor's insurance company and mm -hmm. it appears that they're the negligent so they'll they will look this is what will go on they're negligent but there will be a what's the word i'm looking for um uh, a negotiation so this will work out negotiation going back and forth without it going to litigation or they'll still a negotiation without litigation because they know okay, they're guilty so, well because where i'm concerned is because supposedly that the insurance company is saying this is their final offer and what's on the table i'm like it's unacceptable and that's it's unacceptable I, right just keep don't and I'll, yeah so just I'll say it's that. unacceptable and they will yeah Exactly. But as far as my attorneys, will they push and continue to work me or they're just going to wash their hands of it? That's where I'm scared at, too. You're paying them to work for you. You need to push them to do what you want for them, to, for, for them to do what they want for, for you to get what you want. I okay. truly understand and agree with that, but they're not the most aggressive people. I, you need to just work this out. This is, this is something you need to push through. Okay. Um, do you see how much longer it'll take before I get a settlement then? Because this has been mm. going almost 10 months. A few... I'm going to say two to four weeks. Okay. And then I ha I'm going to have to go because we have to wrap up the show. Okay. So I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So I want to thank you for all calling in. Um, I hope I helped. And I do do private readings. I'm working with people on really um, doing the inner work to clear a lot of what I call the density in their beings, a lot of the old patterns, 
uh, just to become more light bodies. And what that means is that you're lighter, you're happier, and you can move forward in the direction that you want with more joy and more love. We all kind of came in with childhoods that had a lot of heaviness, a lot of issues that we've had to untangle ourselves from. It's almost like having a spider web over you, and we've had to sort of push our way out of it um, and learn about ourselves and spend probably the last five years or more uncovering a lot of our our issues in our protections, in our becoming vulnerable, in our communication, in our relationships. It's just been, there's been a lot of turmoil with people. And now we're coming into a point where we're just becoming more honest, more transparent, more um, more loving, more creative, and and really being willing to, to work through that and, and, and really being willing to put ourselves out there just as I am on the radio. This is, you know, it's, it's all new and I, I don't have any templates for this. I kind of just go with it and see where it takes me. And that's what we have to do in a lot of ways. What you want to do with all these, like, you know, these day-to-day issues, all this stuff, we're going to come up against this all the time, pushing back on the energy. You want to find new ways within yourself to break through those energies, create new pathways. Don't try to do things the same way. Try and do it in a creative way, an innovative way. I say use your, in, your ingenuity. Um, you can reach me at my website, which is uh, kimlovemuse.com. And my email is kimlovemuse at gmail.com. And I really look forward to this kind of being like a comfortable living room and being able to discuss many, many topics on the metaphysical, on um, more of the personal deep issues for people to to push through and strengthen and move forward in their lives. Because really, we're all, we're all meant to be happy. We just kind of have been buried under some old karma, old patterns, it sounds so cliche, old karma, but it's true. And now we can break free of that. So all these things that people called in with today, definitely legit issues, you know, every day we're dealing with different issues. But if you come from more of a playful, almost sense of humor place in creating new pathways and you working energetically within yourself, to work on the outside, inside, outside, it will help a lot. Um, So I look forward to the next show. Um, There'll be a lot of expansiveness. I'll have some great guests on as well, which I look forward to. And um, I'll go into other things that I do. Um, But we're really here to come together for, I'm really here to, to work with people on, we need to, as this old world is crumbling, you know, we're kind of in this galactic new renaissance. There's so many creative people coming on the scene and there's so much expansiveness going on that people need guidance. People need to know where to go and, and people need to, to have a sense of safety and know that there's compassionate people out there for them and also in taking responsibility in the correct way, not in ways like, oh, I take responsibility. No, in really being responsible in in ways that they know that they can stand tall in their own spiritual backbone. And I think that's what we're all working on is our, our who are we, what do we want, what, what's the best life that we can live, because it's really what we want and it's what we came in for. So I guess until next time, I am signing off. And thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited. I love this. I love doing radio. Okay, take care. Thank you so much.